What is up everybody, it is Kian Kunta, and today I have another gold farming video for you guys. Now, before I start this gold farming video, I do want to ask um, if you guys could like, comment, or maybe even subscribe uh, down below. It really helps me out. Also, check out my second channel that I have now uh, in the link in the description below. It's basically just me playing through a bunch of different games that uh, I really enjoy. And right now we're doing a playthrough of Skyrim. So if you think you'd enjoy that, uh, you can check out that link in the description. Also, we're doing a giveaway if you want to check out the last video I uploaded. Um, I also will have a link to that video in the description below, but we are doing a giveaway. All you have to do is go watch that video and you'll know what you have to do. And yeah, but today we're going to teach you how you can make upwards of 150,000 gold in one hour using one simple farm. So this farm is, I want to say forgotten for the most part in that nobody really farms it anymore. And uh, today we're going to be farming for uh, a pet actually. And uh, we're going to be farming in the dungeon, uh, I believe it's called Zul Aman, yes. And uh, what you need for this dungeon is an item called the Armani Hex Stick. Now, this does drop in the dungeon itself, but you have to run the dungeon first, and you miss a chance in basically getting a, a pet out of it. So, I'm going to just kind of explain to you how this goes. So, there's a mob inside of the dungeon that when you use this item uh, on them after you bought it off the auction house uh, you're able to uh, get a pet back that, which you could sell in the auction house and you can actually uh, keep doing this over and over again and yeah that's really kind of the trick to this farm so if we see here it's only 79 gold so personally I bought I would recommend buying one off the auction house just because of the fact that they're so cheap and uh, you only need one and like I said a few of them will drop in the dungeon but just don't, like, I mean, you can just go to the dungeon and get them yourself. You're just going to have to run it once, or you can go buy them on the auction house. It's completely up to you. I bought it on the auction house, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video, and we're going to go to the dungeon, and we're going to run it, and I'm going to tell you some extra mats that you can actually get out of it, and, also, and uh, I'm going to kind of explain slash show you guys how to... Uh, get the pet really and that's uh, all I have so right now I'm going to cut the video and we'll see you at the dungeon bye bye alright everybody we're back after that cut and as you can see we're at the farming location now some of you may recognize where this is some of you may not we are at Zul Aman um, and the instance location is in the Ghostlands. In the easiest way that I found here, uh, this is a boosted character, just so everyone is aware. So, like, if you are a boosted character with the stock flight points you get, when you try to fly from uh, Stormwind to this location, it takes you all the way to, like, all the way here, and then you go all the way to Ghostlands. So, just letting you guys know, it's easier just to fly to North Pass Tower and then take the flight point from there to Ghostland so that you don't have to go all the way back if you're going to do that. So, really, you just have to get to this location right here. And it's in the Eastern Kingdoms, not very hard. I'm showing you exactly where it's at just so it's not confusing. And when you get here, it will look like this. Now, I highly recommend you take the flight path because there's no flying in this zone. So, just so you know. So, we're going to run up to this dungeon. Now, before we even enter, we need to make sure that the dungeon is on Heroic. Make sure you set your dungeon and your raid difficulty both to Heroic, and we will move in. So, now once we head in, uh, there's this kind of like little lore sequence, uh, kind of. You have to talk to the guy that spawns at the beginning of the instance of the dungeon, then hit a gong, and then you are able to actually ent er, enter the instance. Now, since we put it on Heroic, and Heroic mode is the only way that you can get uh, the drops that we were looking for uh, you have to <clears throat> not kill any of the bosses so if you are going to farm this farm for some of the mats which I really I don't know it's kind of a love-hate relationship if you're gonna farm ember silk cloth it's probably not the place to do it so I don't know if this is definitely one of the places you want to farm for mats you can do it and I have seen people do it and I've seen them come out with decent amounts of gold, but it's really uh, nothing compared to what you can get. So you just talk to this guy right here, ask him to open the gates, and then you will have to hit the gong right there. Give me one second. And he's, gonna, he's just going to talk. So 
the frogs that we're gonna try to use the thing we bought from the auction house are are right in this location right here now it can take multiple tries to actually get the mob to spawn but it does work so if you want to just get some of the hex sticks the easiest way to do that is to kill mobs that are not bosses so every boss in this dungeon that is not a boss will drop these sticks uh, they're on a random chance though, so chances are it's it might not exactly uh, happen, but it's it's quite interesting, and I think you guys will actually get to see it here uh, in a second. So after you hit the gong, Uljin walks over here and he opens the door. So the reason we have these hex sticks is we are going to where is it? There it is. I'm just gonna put it right there for now is we're going to go up to the frogs in the dungeon and you can just kill these guys right here because this is kind of nothing that you really have to worry about. And we'll see if they dropped us a hex stick just to be nice. Nope. You can get some decent raw gold from this farm. Um, it's all kind of dependent on some of the drops you get. But we're just going to show you right here where we need to go. Remember all the mobs that are not bosses are the ones you want to kill. Make sure you do not kill any bosses. Like I said, no bosses. Make sure you remember that, please. So we'll see if we can get maybe an extra hex stick here. Oh, a purple though, and that does sell in the auction house, so that's pretty uh, lucky. So we're gonna go, we have to kill all these. It's easy if you have uh, some AoE spells. I do stuff like this. As you see, I kind of proc like uh, the random thing. Obviously, there is a boss there, and Oh, here we go. Let's take it. So actually, it's not a boss. This is one that's not related to the dungeon, so you're allowed to kill him. Now, this dungeon itself is on a timer. So as you can see here, there's this kind of like weird uh, raid mechanic thing that they have in here. That's when you enter the dungeon, uh, it, there's a timer in the top part. And we, actually, we can kill all these guys up here as well. There's a timer, and there's kind of like this hosted the situation going on uh in the in the raid lore wise and uh once the timer reaches to zero you will be locked and the end you'll literally have to wait for your heroic raid reset which will kind of be like the biggest pain in the butt ever so i generally recommend you guys get out of the dungeon before you hit that timer if you're farming it because if you don't it will get ruined and it will suck and you'll just have a terrible time so sadly we're not really getting any of these to drop any items but, give me one second, I'm gonna kill this guy, and uh, here we are. So we see these little frogs kind of hopping around. The cool thing about these is, we'll actually be able to show you, they turn into NPCs, such as that. Now, certain NPCs will do certain things. Uh, one will actually give you the pet, which you have quite a good chance of getting, and some of them will give you quite cool things like this. Um, you know, other stuff to like proc certain things, just kind of cool gifts. And uh, the more you have, the more frogs you can actually use them on. And it may take one or two chances on some frogs, or maybe up to a few more uh, to actually get it. But you can literally go around and just keep finding them and doing this. So that's kind of why I recommend buying them out the auction house. If you can just, if they're super cheap on your auction house, just stockpile them and go do this farm really fit uh, quickly. It's probably the easiest way to go about this farm. Now, if you guys do have any questions or comments or concerns, you can always ask me down in the comments below. I always try my best to try to get to those within the first, you know, one to two hours of within I uploaded the video. Uh, I try to answer everyone I can from then on, but, you know, I have other work to do and other projects I'm working on and uploads for the channel, so it can be qu uh, quite tedious sometimes. Just letting you guys all know. Also, make sure you guys check out the links in the description below, because in the description below you will find where to buy Battle for Azeroth for the cheapest that you can actually find it purchasable on the internet right now. And also, I've got all the links to my uh, my gear, my camera gear, my audio gear, all that stuff in the description below as well. So if you're maybe thinking about starting your own YouTube channel or something like that, you can click those links in the description down below and actually get the exact same gear that I do. And that's really it for this dungeon. If you did like or enjoy it, you can always subscribe down below or give me a like. That always helps. And I will see every one of you beautiful subscribers and I guess people who aren't subscribed in the next video. Bye.